All right, well, I heard from someone that today's periodal was difficult, uh, so I thought I'd take a look at it. So if you're not familiar with periodal, this is just like Wordle, except all of our guesses have to be made up of abbreviations for elements on the periodic table. Um, I like to start with single letter abbreviations first because of there's a little bit of interesting stuff where um, if you guess like CO for example, uh, cobalt, and there's not cobalt in the answer, but there's a C and then an O, maybe there's carbon and then oxygen, right? Maybe it's supposed to be CO like that and you guess cobalt, it will give you an orange instead of a yellow. Yellow means that the, the letter is in the, the element is in there but not in the right spot, right? Like normal wordle. But, this would give you an orange saying CO is in the answer word in that order, but not that element. And so if you guess cobalt and there's a C, there's a carbon and not oxygen next to it, maybe it's carbon and you know and then next to it, or whatever it is. If it's like this, you would just get gray for cobalt. You wouldn't get any more information. But if cobalt is in the answer, and I guess C, it will give me the orange. So anyways, it, it just, you get more chance of getting good information from single letter uh, abbreviations is essentially what it comes down to. So I'm going to start with focus. That seems like a good one. Five uh, single letter abbreviations, a couple of vowels, which is helpful. Um, so let's go for that. See if we can focus in on the answer. <coughs> All right. So this, see what this did? This gave us, this is the orange. I have high contrast mode on. I have a hard time with the colors on this puzzle because I am colorblind. Um, and so this is the orange. I don't know if it looks orange at all, but <laughs> it's probably more red, but Essentially what this means is there is a C in the answer, but it's not carbon. So we need to do like, well, we can't do cobalt because there's no O. Um, we could do uh, chlorine or uh, cadmium or I believe CR is chromium. That could be wrong. Calcium, those are all available to us. Um, so what do I do next? See, we could do something at the, like maybe a CR at the beginning or something. It's not too bad. Uh, now, for single letter abbreviations, the only vowels we have left are I and Y, I believe. So, hmm, we could do. I mean, can we do something like? We can't. We could, we could almost do cricket. <laughs> C-R-I, we could also do C-L, that could be good too, something like click, but, oh, but we want to do, uh, chlorine iodine, click, but I don't really want to do another C, because we know that's not right. Is there a C, what are our C options? We don't have a C-H, do we? Uh, I don't think C-H is a thing, otherwise you could do, that would be really good, we could do this, oh, uh, Oh, no, that, we need another, yeah. I was gonna do uh, iodine, nitrogen, and then I was gonna say, uh, well, we could still do clinch. It does use a carbon, which is the downside. If there was a CH, I was gonna say we could try and do clinch, but we need an extra element. There's no ED, is there? Yeah, you can't do clinched. Almost do we can ah, if you could spell clinch with an e at the end. I don't think that's a word. Let's try it though. Yeah, it's not in the word list. Okay, clinch is a word though. We could do that, but it repeats the c. But it is several new single letters, which is good. All right. Um. Th so the, one of the hard things on this game is thinking of words that fit. Um. So I'm just gonna go with clinch. I know that it's gonna have the c repeated, but I do like. I and an H to check those letters. I thought about trying to do like clingy, but again, you can do the N, but there's no G. We have the Y. I don't think, can you do G E Y? Is that, I don't think that's a way to spell clingy, but we can try it. Nah, that's what I figured. Okay. Clingy doesn't work that way, and there's no G by itself. It'd be nice to do the Y, but. All right, I'm just going to go with clinch. Well, we eliminated some more things. <laughs> All right, so it's not CL. It could be CR, CA. It could even be MC. I mean, it doesn't have to be a, a one that starts with C, but there aren't really... Is that the only one with a C that doesn't start with C? That we still have available anyways? There could be another one, but... 
Okay, so, I mean, we've eliminated O, U, and I, so that's good. Um, maybe we could, I mean, we've got a C, E, we could end with C, E, maybe, that wouldn't be too bad, but there's no N, it feels like it would probably be N, C, E. Alright, so, I mean, there's a few that start with C, C, A, C, R, C, D, we also have M, C, and A, C. There's C, E, C, M, but the ones that don't start with C are M, C, and A, C, and maybe, you know, we don't have too many vowels with O, U, and I gone, so maybe A, C is the way to go. And we've got B, P, K, V, Y, and W for single letters. We do B, A, C, K, back, back what? Back ing? No, I can't do ing. Uh, back, oh, there's no I anyways. Back, er, backers, backers. We don't have the S. We know there's no S. Uh, backery? I don't think that's a thing. Nah, it's not a thing. You could also do packer. Same way. Packery? Oh, that's a thing. Okay, Packery is a thing. Wow, and look at that. There's a P. It starts with P. There is an AC, but it's not there. And there is a K. Okay. Okay, so P something. ACK maybe? And oh, there's a Y, but not. Oh, but not Yttrium. So the Y has to. What other. What's, which things have Ys? What element even has a Y in its... Oh, Y, B? Or D, Y, D, Y, D, Y. D, Y would be good. Um, so... I mean, if you do A, C, and K, and then D, Y... Something ACD? Ooh, I don't like that. But, I mean, it could be YB if it's like the Y is the end of the first syllable and the B is the start of the next syllable. What else can it be? Is there any other elements with a Y in them? I think it's got to be one of those two. So... Oh, oh, uh, no, it's gotta be, uh, I was gonna say payback, Y, B, A, C, K, but we need to, it would have to be an A here, and there's no A by itself, otherwise you could do, like this, so what, what else could that be? Playback, L, A, is there an L, A? Yeah, there's an L, A. That's what it is. It's going to be playback, isn't it? Yes! Got it in four. All right. Wow, that was a tricky one. Uh, I, I didn't know that pack, packery, is that a word? Should I know what that's a word? Sometimes you go through so many combinations of letters in your head and trying to make words that real words start to not sound like words anymore. Um, packery. Uh, oh, it's like a Java, JavaScript thing, apparently? I wonder if it has another meaning. Okay, Packery is a JavaScript thing. I'm not sure if it has another meaning or not, but it accepted it as an answer, so there we go. Cool, so that was definitely a tricky one. I feel like I got lucky by finding the orange Y because there aren't very many elements with a Y, so that really limited it quite a bit, so anyways. Let me know how you did with this periodal if you tried it out, and uh, if you know how many guesses it took you, and did you struggle when you figured out? Did you find out there was a Y? How did you figure out the answer? I feel like that's the only way to get there, probably, is to figure out the Y and then have it limited, but or just have a random lucky guess. But at any rate, let me know how this one went for you, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I don't know about you, but my teeth don't have skin, so what's going on here? Well, this is obviously an idiom, which is essentially an expression. Okay, so not, not Africa, but Northeast. Okay, so we're in the Middle East then, probably.
because it is pretty warm. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's not because the A is at the end. Uh, it's gonna be extra. Uh, oh, and oxide, we would have had the X from oxide. 